everyone, my name is Yvonne and I thought uh, I would create a little demo video to demonstrate the solution to the question that came up in uh, a writer's group that I'm part of. Now someone asked, what if you have uh, a Word document but say you have a custom header for chapter one or chapter two or any other sort of hidden location in your document but you don't want to duplicate the text in order to make it show up in the table of contents by applying a style to it. And of course you don't want to apply the style to the image itself because the image will show up in the table of contents and everything will look really messy. So being a programmer, um, I naturally had to uh, figure out how to do this because I was really curious. And I found the solution after a little bit of digging um, in a dark corner of a Microsoft forum. So I thought I'd create this video because the instructions are a little bit hard to follow for somebody who's not familiar with uh, programming. There's a little tiny bit of coding involved, but I promise it's worth it and it'll be really easy to follow. So as you can see here, I have a document and I have a rose and I have a lily and I have a pansy for the purpose of this demonstration. Now the goal is when I click on the word rows, I'm going to be on in the table of contents, I'm going to be linked here, despite the fact that the word rows does not physically exist in this location that you can see. This is where I will be adding it. Um, and the same thing with the other two. So if I scroll up, you can see that I have a table of contents, but no styles have been applied to any of the text, so there are no entries found. So, all right, so the first thing we want to do is go to the Home tab. We want to click this little Show Hide thing. Uh, it'll show the paragraph marks and hidden formatting symbols. And you can see them, all the little tiny symbols. So I'm going to put my cursor here, and I'm going to click Control F9. And that's inserted a little field. So I'm going to type in TC, double quotes, and the text that I want, which is rows. And then I'm going to do the same for Lily. I'll put the cursor there, and Control F9, TC, Lily, inside double quotes. And control F9, TC, Pansy. Now I'm going to go back up to my table of contents and select it. Now I'm going to say Alt F9. And this shows a little piece of code. Don't be scared, it's fairly easy to deal with. So right after the slash H, and the dot, which indicates a space, I'm going to do slash F space. And that inserts the dot. You don't need to worry about it. And then click Alt F9 again, and it disappears. Then Control A to select everything in the document, and F9. And look, they show up. So now I can turn off my hidden markers and all I have left is my table of contents. Rose, Lily, Pansy. So I click Control, Rose. I am relocated to the location where I had added that piece of text, but you don't see the text there because it's hidden. And the same thing if I scroll back up To Lily and control click. That's where I'm located. Now you could put it above the image if you wanted it to be centered when you clicked on it. Um, for the purposes of this demonstration, that was not necessary. And I'll do the same thing with Pansy. There we go. So now you know how you can create essentially hidden links for a table of contents in Word. 
Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.